Hello everyone. Um, this is another sample for effective use of um, industrial coil, a bedrock industrial coil, and because these can give so much power at the same time. Uh, if you use it well, it's a really nice uh, item. What I'm doing here is I'm placing uh, something to put the bedrock coil. Here we go. And a gearbox. The gearbox needs to be set to speed. This is a 16 to 1 gearbox, increasing the speed for the grinder a very high amount. And I guess I needed to have lubricant there. And since I don't have these, uh, blanks and glass. Might as well. This might prove a little bit difficult without the glass. I don't have the glass right now, it's not the most difficult item, so here we go. And now something to store my lubricant. This is just to uh, pick up the lubricant that's coming from the from the grinder. And one more wood. There we go. So I set this one to its maximum speed. And because of the speed increase, I'm going to make every operation one tick. See, one operation per tick. And this will result in, in uh, super fast processing of, uh, for example, the canola seeds. But you could also try to put in some uh, something else. But here we go. See, it's near instant. This one is full. Lubricant hose is not working. You should find another solution for that. Uh, I might as well not try that. Does it work on the side? Maybe that would solve the problem. Yes, excellent. So the lubricant is out. This machine can work on and process everything. Of course, you want to have one of those uh, centrifugal things to process the seed husks later. Um, and apart from uh, that, it might be nice to show you how to use this with ore. There we have some ore. It's way less efficient, of course, than the extractor, but at least you see the speed now. It's nearly instant. A three times multiplication, so don't do that when you have an extractor that you can run. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.